Hey, Brooklyn Squad. So this is part two of the video of the case that I just put up that I was telling you about from Charleston, South Carolina. This young man right here was very healthy. Like I said, 23 years old, Daquan. His mother, Miss Erica Coltman, is grieving right now because she lost her son and she wants answers and she deserves answers. And I'm going to play for you a TikTok video because I just want to show you that other people are talking about this and it's mainly, mainly on TikTok. So I want to get this more outside like Facebook, Instagram, even the news. Like we need to get this. This case needs to be open. Look at the first video that I posted, okay? He was a healthy 23 years old veteran. He was in the army. He was an activist with his mother. He was helping, he was doing the right thing. He wasn't feeling good one day on a com on a committee where he was with his excuse me, with his mother. He went home after that. They took him to the hospital. He had no heart issues before. Then all of a sudden he has heart issues. His heart goes back to normal. And then a few weeks later, he's unalive. She was getting death threats. The worstest one was, Merry Christmas. Your son's going to die by Christmas. That was the one that stuck out to her. Watch that first video where I showed that. And then we're going to show it also on here also. But that's the one that really stuck out to her. Because after Christmas, her son did die. Or can we say he was murdered, allegedly. There was a substance in him. One was marijuana. But there was another one. And they refused to tell her what that is. She needs answers. She deserves answers. Let's get into this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And don't forget to share this video so we can get her out there more. Don't forget to go and subscribe to her channel and watch her videos. And go into her TikTok. I'm going to post everything. A mom needs our help, and allegedly, the Clan Karen Hood, Twatsies, assholes with casseroles, whatever you want to call them, seem to be involved. This amazing woman right here is Erica Coakley. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She has served as a school board member in Charleston County in South Carolina for the past two years. And she fought for the rights of all students. She actually won re-election again back in December. But then her life turned upside down. Member Erica Coakley is calling off her campaign for re-election. Coakley says she is dropping her bid because of threatening texts that she received about her late son and the lack of investigation from law enforcement. Coakley sent our team a message saying, quote, due to this message received to my school board phone, along with other threats law enforcement don't think are worth looking into. I am denouncing my candidacy for consolidated school board for the upcoming elections. Now, this is the message that Coakley received December 21st of last year. It reads, your son's dead soon. Merry Christmas. Erica Coakley's son died shortly after in January. He suffered a heart attack and never recovered. She was terrorized via text messages, had her tires slashed, all because she won school board election again. And then that text message came through. And then her very healthy 23-year-old son had a heart attack several weeks after she received that text message. Now, do you see her 23-year-old son was healthy? He was in the army. If you're going in the army, they're not going to take you if you have heart issues. That's number one. Let's get realistic here. They're not going to take you if you have heart issue, issues. That's her son right there, and that's her. Um, This young lady on this side on the right, she is a TikTok, and she's just telling the story. Shout out to her. If you're in the army, they're not going to take you. So he had no health issues at all. Okay, so he, he had no health issues. He was very, very healthy. She was getting death threats. The slashing of the, the tires when she goes out there, throwing rocks, a lot of other things they were doing, the name calling, I'm sure, a lot of a lot of different things. But the one thing that stuck out to her was that text message about her son being unalive by Christmas. He was in the ICU for three weeks and never recovered. 
This is the text message that was received. All I can say is I was an elected official and a racially toxic, politi politically toxic county, and I want, I was threatened. And I want people to know that where I live locally, some of the same people that went and invaded the White House are some of the same people that know my name. They live here, right here. I was basically spoon fed to these individuals by people that look like me because I did not go with their political agendas to uh, take over and politicize and privatize our public school systems here in this county. Um, I hope everybody heard that at the end. Privatize public school systems. And guess whose ultimate goal is to do that? Now Moms for Liberty makes up a majority of that school board. And now because of all the threats that were received, as well as the fact that she has another child who has special needs, Erica decided to step down for her family's safety and is trying to move. Does anybody find this coincidental or is it just me? This is Moms for Liberty School. We're going to get into that. I'm going to do a video on that because as we're do, talk, as she's talking about that, um, I was actually texting Miss Erica uh, today, and I'm getting into some things. I'm actually going to do an interview with her, but before the interview, um, I want to get a little more um, into this case and put out some more videos on it and then have her come on the channel. You guys know how I do. I like to get in, have you guys see a little bit of pieces of what you're going to know. So when she comes on here, you won't be surprised and be like, well, what's this case about? You know, I like to put this out first and then have the parent on here. But that school district, those people, oh, baby, very, very racist. But we're going to get into that. Erica's TikTok, please go show her some love. She does have a GoFundMe for those who want to help. But I want to do something more. We are going to do a rally starter and demand justice for Daquan. Because Lord knows that if he was my complexion, there would be a huge investigation about this. This rally starter blasts emails to the governor, the attorney general, the news, as well as other law mm. enforcement in South Carolina. Amen. Demanding that they actually do an investigation. All you have to do is search those two words at the top, and here you go right there. It's the first button. And please know you can do this multiple times and also edit this to make it your own. We need to let them know that we don't stand for this. And Erica needs to see that she has support and love. If we don't stop this now, they're going to keep doing this. And yes, I know it is not proven that they are... I don't know what happened there. Something went out, guys. It wasn't my... I don't think it was my son. I'm not sure. It could have been. But, um... Damn it. I am begging everybody to stop scrolling. Please stay with me. A mom needs our help, and allegedly... The Clan Karen Hood, Twatsies, assholes with casseroles, whatever you want to call them. I love it. Assholes for casseroles, whatever you want to call them. Go ahead, girl. I want to get in contact with her. I'm going to message her tomorrow. It's pretty late now. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, I do want to uh, message her and get in contact with her. She did an excellent job on this. Maybe we can work together and she could come on my platform and we could do this together. Uh, shout out to her. Um, once I get her name, I'm going to show her more love. But guys, let's get this video out um, because her face is on here. We need to get her videos out. I'm going to go to her site and share her videos also. I'm going to put all the information down um, and my on my wall. Please go over there. Please subscribe to her channel. It's going to be in the description box as well. Please, 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 let's get this out. This is very important because you know what? If it was your son or your daughter or your sister or your brother, I would pray and hope that you care enough to want the same thing done. Because I know for me, the heart that I have, I know I would. Can't speak for so many out there, but I know I would. So. Please, please, show respect also, okay? And if you can't, just don't say anything. But those that do really care for victims, thank you. God bless. Have a blessed night, everyone. Good night.